Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Khalil the Hallowell Sports Board. I'm your host, Khalil Brathwaite, coming to you live in Leesburg, Virginia. Today, I'll be talking about the stomping ground results, what really went down. I will talk about the fact that Roger Federer won his 10th Hall Crown, 10th Hall Crown for the record, Hall, Hall Crown record, that is. And the fact that also um, Nick and Ligna, Ligna Willenda made it on the High wire on the tightrope, walking a quarter mile against that for sure. At uh, Times Square, that is. I'll talk about the Team USA women's ne- women's soccer. They defeated as they defeated um, Spain two to one. I'll get into that and um, then a woman gets hit by a foul bo- foul sh- by a foul. I think it's a foul ball shot. In the first inning by Dodger slugger Cody Bellinger. I'll get that for sure in the fact that uh, Knicks were 550K for banning Daily News. Not granting access to post-conference draft news conferences. So I'm going to I'm gonna get to more of that as well and all the other details you need to know. So I'm going to start things off with the stomping ground results. That is, you saw... Drew Gulak walk out as the new Cruiserweight champ. You saw Kevin at, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defeat Xavier Woods and Big E. You saw, yeah, I told you that Drew Gulak already won the, um, he's the new Cruiserweight champ. Kim Ricochet is the new U.S. champ. Bailey retains her SmackDown Women's title. Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan retain the SmackDown Tag Team titles, Becky Lynch retains the Raw Women's title, Kobe Kingston retains the WWE title, and a steel cage match when he leaped to the floor, that is. Seth Rollins retains the Universal title. Now, Lacey Evans was the special guest referee, who, which Baron Corbin announced. Now, Becky, now Lacey Evans low blowed Seth Rollins, that is. Also, Becky Lynch attacked Lacey Evans... And that's how Seth Rollins retained his universal title. And also, Roman Reigns defeats Drew McIntyre. Those are your stomach grounds results from last night, that is, ladies and gents. And who knows what's going to happen tonight on Monday Night Raw and also SmackDown Live tomorrow night. So I'm going to get you that to that. And I'll also catch Extreme Rules next month as well, by the way, July 13th. Others I do need to point out, though. Roger Federer won his 10th Hall Crown title record, making making his 10th his tenth, tenth, tenth record, that is, by the way, 13th final. So congrats to Roger Federer on this historic win, historic milestone, that is. Ashley Barty is a new n- name, the number one, after winning the um, Birmingham, her Birmingham win. Congrats to her on that. Nick and Lejana Wallenda, Wallenda, they made it on a tightrope, walking a quarter of a mile in Times Square, 25 stands, stands up using balance on the tightrope. That's in Times Square. This happened last night, and they made it. I'm glad they survived. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't try that at home school or anywhere and please consider the following so just use balance while you're at it don't look down and i'm glad they survived i'm glad they made it because it was, it was a frightening frightening moment right there it was a hit it's a world record by the way so i'm glad they survived congrats to them by the way for making it making it out congrats to that another news i do need to address that uh terror at former WWE Hall of Famer Terry Reynolds will not be doing any jail time, that is, after she brought a loaded gun to an airport for Armadillo gun case. That case has been dismissed by prosecutors, and she's now off the hook for that. So, that's all there is to it for now. Because remember, she was arrested, because she remember she was arrested last month, that is, for bringing a, um, a loaded Glock with 11 bullets in. And she was, and she her bail bond was set, and she was released, by the way. But now her her case has been dismissed by prosecutors, and now she's 
off the hook for now, that is. So hopefully she doesn't get any more trouble. So that's all the news I have. That's all I have for that, by the way. Other news, that is. The 2026 Winter Olympics will be coming to Milan, Cortina, Italy, Dan Pizzo, that is. So this app, yeah, so it's coming back. To, so again, ladies and gentlemen, the 2026 Winter Olympic Games are going to be coming back to Milan, Italy, that is, since 1956 to 2000, and 2000, by the way, so third time it's happened, though, so really good opportunity, really good, so that's a long way from now, a couple of few years from now, that is, so... That's something a lot of us are looking forward to. That it's a it's lots kind of change like that in an instant. Anyway, another other news I need I do need to address. By the way, the Knicks have been fined fifty k for banning daily news and granting and not for not granting access to post draft news conferences. That is, other news conferences got it, got it to introduce. We're invited. That is. And they introduced um, R.J. Barrett and Ignaz, Ignaz Bragdadovich, that is. So, that's good news right there. That's not looking good for the Knicks, so hopefully they get it together and try to just at least figure something out for sure. Other news I do need to address, by the way. Stefan Marbury is named the, the new CB, is named the CBA coach for the um, Beijing Royal Fighters Chinese Basketball that is, Chinese basketball teams, that is. So congrats to Stephon Marbury. Even though he's played basketball in both the NBA and in CBA, he's won titles there as well. So congrats to him being named the, the new coach of, to Stephon Marbury of the Beijing Royal Fighters. Congrats on that. Good right there, by the way. Other news I need to get down to, Team USA Women's Soccer, they have defeated Spain. They will take on France. I mean, they beat they beat Spain two to one. That is, they're gonna take on France this coming Friday. That is, so you do not want to miss on that. That's so Team USA Women's Soccer. They're gonna go all the way, and I look forward to that. By the way, I really do. Anyway, another news I do need to address. By the way, I, and I got them winning the Women's World Cup in France. By the way, as well. In other news, Hannah Green wins her first women's major at the 2019 KPMG Women's LPGA championship that is so she she got her first major that is at the 2019 kpmg women's lpga title congrats to her on that stark victory i expect a lot more from that so pretty good news right there that's all you guys need to know just just for now folks so just for now and i I'd, I'd also want to remind you though that um six days on june 30th is, is when free agency starts so you don't want to miss on that a lot of big names are gonna be heading away some are staying some are going and you see billboards of Kawhi Leonard that oh Kawhi, I mean billboards of Kawhi Leonard to, in L. A. That is saying Kawhi to, to D. C. Ka- Kawhi to L. A. C. Kawhi Nation, King of the North, Kawhi to L. A. C. The Clippers. But look, I'll tell you this right now, that there's no way that Kawhi Leonard's going to be traded once again. He's not going to the Clippers. No, he's not. I'd rather see him stay with the Raptors and see him go for another run. That's what I want to see right there. So in six days, you know, Kawhi Leonard, he's staying where he's at. Durant, that is, that that banged up Durant, like Kevin Durant, is not staying where he's at. He's leaving the Warriors anyway because the Warriors right now are trash. And he's going to miss all, all next season. Too bad for him. So Durant is going to do the right thing, and he's going to lead the Warriors once again. He will leave the Warriors. That's what he's going to do. I guarantee you in six days he'll do so. So I, so you can count on that, everybody. You can count on that. And that's all I got just for now. Also, I want to say happy birthday to one-fourth one of MMA's four horsewomen, Jessamine Duke, or Jay Duke, that is. What a career, what a story career she's going to have in NXT. I love to see Marina Shafir, the Sumino from Aldova, and Jessamine Duke, the birthday girl, walk out. As the next women's tag team champs, that is. It'll be surprising to see them move to the main roster. Especially Shayna Baszler. She can move to the main roster as well. So, 
that's what I look forward to right there. Hopefully that that changes everything for sure. So I would love to see MMA's for so I mean, Rowdy Ronda Rousey, she was in the, in the main roster, but Shayna Baszler, Subinov Maldova, Marina Shafir, and Justin McDougal, her, her birthday's today. So that's what I really want to see in the main roster. That's what I'd like to see. And I also would like to see, well, I know where Sasha Banks is. I'd like to see Horsewomen versus Horsewomen, which is what I want to see, but that match hasn't happened yet. Whatever it does, I'll let everybody know. And also another news, I do want to say happy 32nd to Messi, that is. His birthday is today, by the way. So say birthday shoutouts and your birthday um, wishes to him, by the way. 32nd birthday is today, by the way. So still the goat, he still got it. So it's all I got for now. So that's all there is to it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it right there for the Clue of the Habibu Sports Board. Make sure you always subscribe to the Clue of the Habibu Sports Board YouTube channel, Facebook page by any means necessary. Be sure to send me in comments, your tweets, your reactions, your thoughts on Stomach Grounds last night. Tell me what you think of Roger Federer winning his 10th Hall Crown record, making it his 13th final, that is. And also, by the way, I want to tell you that Andy Murray and Feliciano Lopez, they won the Queens doubles final. Congrats to them. Tell me what you think of, um, you know, Nick and Lajana Walanda making it on a tightrope, walking a quarter of a mile in their uh, in Times Square, that is. 25 stands up using the bounce on a tightrope. Let me know in the comment section. Show me your reaction, your tweets, your thoughts on that as well. Tell me what you think of Team USA is going to be able to, is going to survive to defeat France. And then tell me if you think they're going to walk out as women's world cup champs in france that is let me know in the comment section vote team usa women's soccer in the comment section down below please by any means necessary and it's all the way to it just for now and also tell me what you think of um hannah green that is winning her first women's major major at the 2019 kpmg women's lpga tour that is so let me know about that. Your comments, your tweets, your extra thoughts on that. What you think of Ashley Barty being named number one after winning in Birmingham? Let me know about that. What you think of Knicks being fined 50k for banning daily news and not granting them access to post draft news conferences? Let me know about that. Your reaction, your tweets, your thoughts on that as well. I'll respond, address to that. I know the BET Awards were amazing last night. That is in honor of Nipsey Hussle and all the others. So congrats on that, by the way big part so let me know in the comment section what you think about that that is and i got i'll be back with more breaking news showing topics developing so nice live updates huge announcements a whole lot more all in the clue the hubble sports board all things sports later so the junior deal so that keeps you motivated keeps you going so that's all there is to it so take care you guys you guys have a good evening bye-bye